boxing's lower weight classes rarely get the attention they deserve. However, debuting over a decade ago, a new breed of monster changed all that completely. Fearsome flurry, and he's done it. He's got him with a left. He's one of the top-notch fighters. Yeah, yeah I, think we need to, I think we need to pay him a lot more attention. Oh, this guy's good. This guy's good. With almost every fight ending in knockout destruction, it gives us another exciting opportunity to rewind back the clock to some of those unforgettable moments in a career that looked promising so far. You have made it to the final of the World Boxing Super Series where you'll fight for the Muhammad Ali Trophy against Nonito Donaire. This is what we've been waiting for. We've always felt that we were going to meet each other. But how do you beat him? He is the monster. You know, you just gotta learn to tame the monster, and that's something that I have to figure out. To kickstart the show, we hop back to 2019. During the final of the Bantamweight Super Series tournament against credible Philippine opponent Nonito Donaire. Did you see anything in Noyo a new way that you feel that you could exploit? I saw some some flaws. You know, I just gotta go back into the drawing board and see where I can take advantage in his movement and his distance. We're gonna see a, we're gonna see a real clash of, of two fighters who are at very different points in their career, but have a huge amount of respect for each other, but at the same time know they're going to war tomorrow. After steamrolling the previous contestants in Juan Peano and Emmanuel Rodriguez, Inoue was thought to make easy enough work out of the 37-year-old Filipino veteran. But for the first time in his career, digging deep and having to slug it out in a gritty affair was ultimately what it came down to. The fastest hands. I would say um, the monster. Who, who had the most power of anyone you ever fought? Same. Also, he knew it. Rate his power. I'm curious. I'm good. They call him the monster for a reason. He has a tremendous, uh, tremendous power. For a lot of guys, he'll take everybody out with with the one punch. But I'm. I've always been a tough guy, you know. You know, I, I never really looked into the cut. I just went and, and tried to just do what I want to do, which is to take him out. That was pretty much what was going on. And everybody would keep telling me, why don't you go for after it? Why didn't you go after it? Like, I just wanted to do the things that I do, which was to gain a knockout. Uh, we ever do see that great rematch. What can you do better that you didn't do in the first fight? What can you improve on? I think the biggest improvement is just having somebody remind me in my corner what I need to do. Are we going to see it again, guys? Yes. Are we going to see a rematch? Yes. Let's meet the challenger. Please welcome from Melbourne, Australia, Jason Mayhem Maloney. One year later, it was time to defend both IBF and WBA titles in the ring as well as uphold credibility as boxing's most dangerous pound-for-pound -pound puncher. That heartbreaking loss two years ago showed me how much I want this and that I'm never going to let a loss happen to me again. What are your advantages here? Physically, I'm stronger than he is. I'm bigger than he is. I see him just as a human. He's not a monster in my eyes. Despite being confident about being the first to find chinks in the armor of Inoue, Jason Maloney was yet to even put a dent in the Japanese monster come fight night. And after being knocked down and eventually stopped in the seventh, the Australian was left pretty speechless post-fight. He's the full package. He's very hard to land on. He's great with his distance. Really fast with his legs the way he goes out of distance. It makes you miss. You can't get close to him or put him where you want him. And then when you think you're in a safe zone, he'll just close. and. He's, he's proving to be everything that he's talked up to, yep. which is awesome to see. For sure. He's really showing up like every fight and, and laying it down. With things starting to warm back up again after the global shutdown, Inoue made his first appearance after a fairly inactive previous year. Uh, what does the United States have to learn about hot and spicy? Uh, America has to learn about uh, the very hot and spicy punches. <laughs> I, lo I love it. Seen by many as another lamb to the slaughter, Philippine fighter Michael Dasmarinas took a chance and a rare opportunity for world honors stepping up to face a steep challenge against Inoue, though unfortunately falling short after three knockdowns and a third round TKO. Michael, tonight, you know you fought for the unified titles of the world. Was that the best fighter you've ever been in the ring with? Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, very good. What, what was the power like? He was not able to slip or defend, and the impact was hard, and he couldn't breathe. 
Could he not see the shot coming? Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he sort of lost him, and so he wasn't able to defend. What do I say all the time, Mario? It's a Kim mantra. It's not sometimes if you win, it's how you win. Wow. This dude is dominating world-class opposition like nobody's business. He is a badass little dude. After another defense in Japan, in the back end of 2021, a surprising announcement came from top-ranked boxing that Inoue would face Donaire yet again in what was seemed to be a competitive rematch at the time. The, the connection between me and him is that we have, we have greater respect for each other, but we do want each other's belt. One thing that goes into my mind is that I am the undisputed. That just goes into my head in my meditation. I am the best. With the first fight playing out as a complete battle to the death and Donaire coming in with his newly earned WBC belt, most thought a second serving of these two stylistically perfect warriors would be another dream watch. However, things didn't go quite as well as last time for Donaire. You know, we came up short today. You know, he got me really good. And I was always going to start, I was always going to uh, keep fighting, you know, and I'm glad that the referee stop the fight because I was always going to stand up. So that's just part of me. You know, I just don't have any quit in me. When you make a mistake with Inoue, like I did, he'll, he'll crack you. And when you when you get cracked with those, it's, it's you know, it's, it's done. Now holding three out of four straps at Super Bantamweight, the fourth and final piece of the puzzle arrived momentarily later in another attempt for greatness, and this time a shot at taking his legacy even further as an undisputed champion against Brit Paul Butler. What do you think of the criticism in terms of um, a lot from the US um, perspective looking in this fight saying it's a complete mismatch? What do you make of the criticism by some of the fans? Come mate, it does not bother me at all, do you know what I mean? There's gaps there and there's, there's plenty of them as well, you, you've got to sit down. Obviously most people are watching him as a fan, I've sat down now and I've watched him as an opponent. Taking little notice of the criticism on the lead up to the bout where most had Paul out of his depth, didn't seem to discourage the Brit from vowing to put his skills to the test in the biggest fight of his career. Paul Butler's been there, he's done it, he's been world champion, but I think he's a monster that in a way, isn't he? He, he is a monster. And the man that a lot of people will have in their top three, at least on the pound for pound list, no, you're in New York. You were very vocal straight from the start. I want to be fighting for the Undisputed Championship. I've got the other belt. If he wants to dance, let's do it. But with Inouye controlling the pace all night and barely breaking a sweat, led to what seemed a majority one-sided beatdown until the stoppage in the 11th round. Um, you know, it was every time getting clean on the, on the chin, I was thinking, that, that ain't too bad, that, you know, that, that's all right, considering what he'd done to other people, the likes of Maloney, the likes of Don Air. I remember coming out in the first round and I, I just found his presence very, like, he, he hadn't even thrown a shot and I felt him. I was thinking, get up, get up, and I remember the ref counting, and I remember thinking, come on, get up now, and I honestly thought he was on about three. And he shouts, eight, nine, I thought, bastard. You said he's never fought anybody like you, and he says, but he, that's true, but he's never fought anybody like me either. And finally, and also most recently, Inouye took his greatest challenge yet to become a four-weight world champion against a man who was also considered to be pound-for-pound -pound material himself. Confuses him, keeps him on the outside, uses, uses his reach and turns him, you know, and be very strategic, man, inside that ring and be tactically sound every point. He has a chance of winning, winning the fight. There's no doubt in my mind. Put in his power. Can you, could you tell me what do we have to offer? And sparred and been in the ring with plenty of guys like him. I appreciate putting myself through these things. That's what takes a man to his next level, his next height. With the plan to disrupt Inoue's rhythm by forcing him on the back foot and nullifying his offense, Fulton was confident as the naturally bigger man, he'd take his opponent into deep waters and show him something he'd not seen before. No one wants to lose, especially no one wants to lose their titles and the chance of you know staying a world champion. However, with Inoue surprisingly looking more matched for size come fight night, Fulton's plans were foiled 
as Naoya kept his foot on the gas most of the rounds, allowing Steven to have minimal success of his own until he was eventually wiped out by a big right in the eighth. Uh, this time it was, this time it was a little bit more better than mine, and the shot that he did land, I didn't see it. It was just with me. It was, it had to do with me. Like Fulton was just too slow trying to close the gap, and every time he was trying to close that gap, I was like, you knew he was quicker to get out, and then he'd fly back in. Very surprised. I, I thought he was going to have more boxing, uh, and I thought that he would have a uh, game plan. I just saw saw a lot of things that were off. Inoue, as of today. Is pound for pound number one. Man, that boy been bad people. I seen that man fight in Tokyo years ago. Um, Japanese fighter, the best fighter.